Good day and welcome to my presentation on Big Data and Machine Learning and Astronomy. Astronomy is the study of the universe outside of the Earth's atmosphere. The size has been pegged to be over 93 billion light years. As such, we can expect the amount of data that can be captured in this field is tremendous. The objective of my project is to explore the mountain big data problem and assess how machine learning techniques can be used to alleviate this. Let's characterize the astronomical data, starting with volume. The Large Synoptic Survey is an ultraviolet telescope uh, that is set to be operated in the next few years. After 10 years of operations, it's expected to have accumulated over 50 petabytes in terms of raw data and 15, pet, 15 petabytes for the data catalog. After processing, the total data volume will be over 100 petabytes. Let's look at velocity. One of the synoptic survey's strongest points is its ability to capture transient events, which are astronomical phenomena that happen over a relatively short period of time. The transient events happen over 10 million times a night, and when such an event has been de detected, a fast follow-up ne is necessary. Hence, speedy and efficient processing methods will be necessary. And additionally, all data needs to be processed and communicated to astronomers all over the world within 60 seconds. So look at variety. Astronomical projects typically have recorders restricted to a range in an electromagnetic band, such as UV or infrared. And so different projects can have output from different um, electromagnetic spectra, uh, from different data structure, different data, data structures and data formats. And the level of complexity with this data is very, very high. Uh, a recorded object could have over 200 plus, 200 attributes associated with it. Associated with it. Um, so what opportunities has this created? Let's look at a data engineer. They will have to build databases that can efficiently process unprecedented data volumes, uh, handle real-time processing demands, and have build a database that is easily usable and accessible by a diverse community of worldwide users. How about a data wrangler? They will have to be able to integrate this vast amount of sources, while a data analyst will have to develop efficient algorithms and machine learning techniques to be able to speedily process and analyze this data. So uh, let's look at the benefits and the challenges of applying machine learning in this field. The benefits are new discoveries, uh, greater efficiency because the machines are able to operate at a much faster rate than humans, and as such we'll also be able to cut down the amount of manual labor that's spent in this field and we will be able to see some financial benefits. What are the challenges? Um, sophisticated algorithms and machine learning techniques will have to be developed. Additionally, the data may be growing faster than a computational power, so that would need to be sorted out, and that's outside the realm of this project. So, let's look at the common sources and software tools used that can be used. So, data sources Kepler is very popular. It's used to discover exoplanets uh, in our universe. Um, Software and tools, these are um, Spark, Scikit-Learn, AstroML, uh, machine learning um, toolkits used by both astro astrophysicists and data scientists alike. Um, so now we can see a case study here of um, how we can use machine learning to just streamline, um, streamline the whole process. So uh, I can see where my mouse is pointed right now. To count the number of creators in this picture, as you can imagine, it can take quite a bit of time. So using convolutional neural networks, we're able to detect the object within an image, which in this case is a creator. And through that, this is the output. We're able to therefore automate the counting process of uh, creators um, within an image. Uh, thank you.